Hey. Hey. You know, I'm fine. I'm okay. It's all right. I, uh, I brought us some whiskey. Thought maybe we could have a drink. That's really nice of you, man. I'm just, I'm not, it's, it's fine. It's really okay. I just need to be alone right now, but it's fine. I appreciate it. We will do it another time. Cal, I, listen, I, I know I should have called you. I guess I, I told myself that maybe you just needed some space and that was probably really stupid, but can we just have a drink? I'm sorry, I should have called you sooner. This has been really hard on me. I can't even imagine how hard it's been for you. You're here now. That's all that matters. Yeah, but who knows how long it would have been if you hadn't reached out. I just feel shitty. I shouldn't have... Um... No, I'm glad you did. I, I miss you. I miss you too. I miss Laura. John, thank you for stopping by. Cal, no, you can you can talk to me. I, if you want to, I mean, I I want to talk to you. I don't have anything to say. Well, why'd you text me? I had no one else to text. I don't have anyone else either. Let's just talk. I don't think you can help me. I'm willing to try. Could I tell you the truth? Yeah, absolutely. I was doing okay. At least I thought. Maybe it hadn't hit me yet. <clears throat> and then I got a call from the cemetery. Her grave had been exhumed. What? Her body was gone. D did you call the police? I guess they did, but it didn't matter because later that night, there was a knock on the door and it was her. It was Laura, <sighs> right there at my front door. Cal. I thought I was dreaming. I grabbed her, held her tight in my arms, and I expected to wake up. But she was so cold. And I brought her inside, and I tried to warm her up, and I tried to feed her. <clears throat> and she seemed to be a million miles away. And then, a couple hours later, she seemed like herself. She smiled at me. Dude. The next day, the cops came over. They got my information. I told them I had no idea who could have done it. And they said, we're very sorry for your loss. But you know what the crazy part was? I'd never been more excited. This shit doesn't happen, John. Yeah, Cal, it never, ever happened. I know how this sounds. And after a couple of days of trying to get her to eat or say something or do anything normal, she finally looked at me. She saw me. And I felt like we were making progress, like she was back, like she was really back. But she's so strong. 
I don't know what to do anymore. Cal, I don't know what to say. I'm like, kind of hoping you're just fucking with me and this is some sick way you have of coping or whatever, but hey, you need, you need some serious help. Like, you need to talk to someone. You know what, you're right. I'm sorry I reached out to you. No, that's not what I mean at all. I just, I don't know what I can do for you. Like, you need, you need a professional. I know. I'll go to somebody else for help. she really here? I'm not lying. But you don't want to see her like this. Come on. In the bedroom? John. I'm just gonna fucking look for myself. John. Wait. John. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. John, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What?